Hello, so right now I'm going to show you how to install a Scrappy from uh, on a computer which is initially empty. So we'll start from zero and we will end up uh, running a few steps from the Scrappy tutorial. So this is a very nice video to get you started. So we start with the Chrome and we go Scrappy, install Windows, typos are okay. So we get here installation guide and as you can see uh, it recommends and it's indeed a good idea to uh, use Anaconda so here we go download Anaconda for Windows it is similar on Mac and Linux of course and we can use the Python 3.6 version this pop-up is relevant, we can close it and we can see that the download started. So this is important because it allows us to uh, use Python on Windows and it comes uh, with uh, pre-compiled binaries. Otherwise we would have to compile from source and that would require Visual Studio and it's a much more complicated process. So here we see, uh, download takes some time. In the meanwhile, you might want to uh, check and download your favorite text editor. For example, I like uh, a lot Notepad++, uh, which is a simple one. I guess you have your own favorite one. So make sure you have a text editor because we will need that. Great, Anaconda download completed as well. So now just double clicking it will get us through the installation process. Next, I agree, just me, default is fine, install, and this takes another couple of minutes, so uh, in the meanwhile it's a good time now to have a look on uh, what packages are there included, so actually you get a very nice uh, environment with uh, thousands of uh, Python packages. In our case we are Python 3.6 and 64-bit uh, Windows, so here is the list. You can see here beautiful soup 4 which is quite a uh, nice uh, scraping library as well. Context lib, cryptography, scrapey. This is also available and version 1.5.0. This is good. You can see here scikit-learn. This is very useful for machine learning. TensorFlow, again useful for machine learning requests. This is also a very common library uh, for writing uh, web scrapers. GraphVis, a very nice way to uh, create uh, nice graphs and diagrams. PyMC3, this is also great for machine learning. LXLM, this is a useful library that is used from Scrape as well. Jupyter Notebook. This is very useful for experimenting and writing uh, small scripts and uh, visualizing your results and data. GraphVis. You can see here Git, which is very useful when you develop um, for open source especially. Flask, which is a very nice simple web server. Boto, which is a library to uh, work with Amazon Web Services and Boto3. Uh, these are very useful, especially when you are scraping and you want to upload files to S3, which is a thing that happens often. Great, and just about time. Installation completes. Done. So we click Next. I think we can skip Visual Studio for now. Okay, closing these ones. And we are done. You might want to have a look on uh, the tutorials they have but it's okay for us for now. So now we go back to the uh, Scrap installation guide. Uh, let's uh, now start uh, by running Anaconda here. Anaconda prompt. So an important thing here is to understand where you are. You are in this directory uh, users me. So if you do for example from here CD desktop uh, then you are in the desktop directory. So uh, it's important for you to be familiar and know where 
uh, how what you see in the terminal this is called the terminal or command prompt for Windows corresponds to uh, the directory structure so for example if you go uh, to C uh, directory then it's users me and then in here it's desktop so your desktop is just a directory and this is what you see here so for example if I right click here and I make a new directory folder um, scrapy okay then over here I can do dir and I can see the scrapy here and it's the same on this directory now I can do cd scrapy and now I'm in this directory so there's a correspondence between what I see in the command prompt and on which directory I'm on the file system okay so let's get back uh, to uh, Scrapey and let's go to Scrapey tutorial now that we finished the installation uh, we should be able to follow the steps so for example Scrapey start project tutorial I paste this one here and we see this error uh, so this is because we didn't really finish the installation uh, after installing Anaconda we have to do this Conda install okay so let's run this command with the same way we can install other Python packages uh, if we want especially if they're not already installed proceed yes okay so completed let's uh, go back to the tutorial and let's try now scrapey start project tutorial nice so now you can see here the directory created inside the scrapey directory in our desktop and uh, you can see more commands here cd tutorial uh, scrapey gen spider but we will ignore those instructions for now and continue with the tutorial and this tells us to create this file inside tutorial uh, spiders tutorial spiders so we will now open our favorite text editor and go to this directory file save us and create the file quote spider.py so we can see it here nice so now we copy paste this and we save it great so now let's go back to command prompt cd tutorial in order to be in the directory uh, where we have the spiders and let's do a dir let's see what files they are there and we can see scrapy.config so this is the right directory to be it's this one tutorials scrapy.config so now we're in the right directory and now we run this command scrapy crawl quotes nice so if you see here what just happened two new files got created here quotes one and quotes two so let's open them with a notepad plus plus and we will see that the two pages got scraped exactly as the tutorial uh, instructed us to do so if we see what it does here it parses two web pages one and the second one and it saves the result in uh, a file with such a name uh, so this is exactly what it did which means that we have successfully gone through this first part of the tutorial uh, which shows us that the installation went fine so we learned lots on this video we learned how to install uh, anaconda how to install scrapy and how to go through the first uh, steps of the tutorial follow the rest of the tutorial get more familiar uh, with the command prompt and uh, the corresponding directories and the files and also get used to your text editor because we will use those much more in the future uh, while we run more complex scraping projects Thank you and have fun.